today I'm going to be showing you what is in my football kit bag. I'm going to be showing you exactly what you need for football success. The type of things you need to pack to be ready for any training session or match. Let's get into it. First off, we got the boots. I mean, you can't play football without football boots. And I've got one for every single type of surface. Soft ground, firm ground and astro, and indoor and short astro surfaces. These are my soft ground boots with metal studs at the back. These are generally helpful as they prevent me from slipping on very wet and muddy playing surfaces. And if you're wondering why they're dirty, I've just been using them, so uh, I'm just gonna have to clean them up later. I also use this tool to tighten up the metal studs at the back because I don't want to lose them. An especially useful type of football boot. I'd recommend these, especially if you're playing in countries with lots of rain, like the UK. Next up, we've got my plastic moulds. I play on long astro and dry grass the majority of the time. So these are generally the most common ones that I use. They're not as heavy as the ones with metal studs, and so it makes me feel extra snappy. And yeah, man, these are the ones that I use most often. As you can tell, my favorite type of boot is Predators. I got these, I got these, I've got many. I just love the Predator man. I have so many that I even have laceless versions. If I had to pick, I will probably go with laceless just to make sure that there were no laces to tie mid game, which makes them more comfortable to me personally. I love how it feels on the feet. And finally, we got the Astros. These are the ones that I would use on rare occasions, like playing indoors or if the fringy grass is just too short for studs. And of course, I got my water. You know, you have to stay hydrated when you're playing football, especially as the weather's getting warmer. Definitely a must have. I never go to a training session or match without a water bottle. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. Stay hydrated. And then we got the shin pads. Now these feel amazing when I have them on. It basically feels like I'm not even wearing them. For me, this is just essential. I find that other plastic shin pads made me feel a little uncomfortable and they put extra stress on my shins. Honestly, it just feels like I'm wearing socks. I want to stay protected when I'm on the pitch because when I get brexited, I want to keep my legs. And that's something you don't want to lose. And yeah, shin pads is a must have for me and it should be a must have for you too. Next up, we got the football. You can't play football without a foot. You can't play football without a football. So of course, I need to pack a football in my bag at all times. This is my personal favorite at the moment, the Champions League 2024 final ball. Look at it, it just looks amazing. You look at it and you think, wow. Now honestly, this might be one of the best footballs I've ever seen. And next up, we have the free spray. On the rare occasion that I get injury or I'll pull a muscle or something like that happens, I'll always have this in my bag, ready to go. Now I don't like to let injuries affect my football. So if I have an injury, I'll spray this and hopefully I won't be out of football for long. I need to be back, ready, recovered and on fire. Then we've got the foam roller. This is a tool that I really like to use before a game or training to get that deep stretch that I wouldn't really get from static stretching. My stretches are simple, nothing too crazy, just something to stretch and relieve tension in my calves, hamstrings and quads so I'm set and ready. And again, it prevents the risk of an injury. I love it man, definitely a must have if you don't have it. Next up is a recent feature that I've come across is grip socks. This helps with my dribbling, agility and all of that. When I have these on my feet, it prevents slipping inside of the boot so I can be more explosive, agile and sharp. Some people say it helps, some people say it don't. Me personally, I think it helps, especially if you have more room in your boots that will allow you to slip. Yeah man, definitely a great thing to have. Next up, we got some cones. You know, I'll use these to warm up, maybe do a few drills, some dribbling drills, some agility drills. Something light and not too heavy, but with enough intensity for it to actually feel like training. Something to get my blood pumping so I can be ready for the training session. A fantastic tool that I think should be in everyone's kit bag. Up next, we got the gloves. When it's quite chilly, I will just put them on to ensure my hands aren't cold. It never feels nice to play football with cold hands. And also, it just adds that little bit of I would like to call it finesse to your outfit. I mean, just look at all the ballers with gloves that play on the pitch. Pogba, Aguero, Mahrez, and even Messi. Aguero is probably the one that pulled it off the best. And finally, we got the rain jacket. This is 
something that I would have in my bag if the weather gets a bit bad or it starts to rain. Especially here in the UK, the weather changes all of the time. It doesn't matter if it's summer, winter, it just rains all the time. Even if it's not raining, I'll still sometimes wear it as soon as I come onto the train to be warm from the start. So I have to be warm, dry and ready to be great on the pitch. And that's everything that I have in my kit bag. And the last thing that I bring with me in my kit bag is my mentality and work ethic that helped me become a pro. And if you want to become a professional footballer, I suggest you watch this video right here where I can show you how to sign for a professional academy in just 30 days. It will change your life. See you in the next one.